Hi, I'm George Tanner. I am the University of Idaho's Entrepreneurship Director and also the co-chair of the Grow Track of Boise Startup Week. I uh, appreciate you joining us today for Hidden Gems, uh, a look at Idaho resources. You'll have several speakers today. I want to introduce those to you in no particular order. Jerry Miller joins us from uh, the, the Commerce Department. Jerry is the Economic Dispe uh, Specialist with the Idaho Department of Commerce and he works on community and economic development issues. We also have Jeremy Tampson from the University of Idaho. Jeremy is the director of the Office of Technology Transfer, part of the university's Office of Research and Economic Development, uh, responsible for coordinating our research and our technology activities, uh, many of which are pertinent for entrepreneurs and people inventing new products. Steve Hatton is with TechHelp. Uh, he's the executive director of Tech Help at Boise State University, has a passion for improving product prototyping and, and design, uh, and can be a significant resource as you plot your way forward with your business or your product. Lori Manning is also going to be speaking. She is with Idaho's PTAC, the Procurement Technical Assistance Center, which is a no-cost service for entrepreneurs to help you expand your marketing efforts to government agencies. And finally, Jeremy Field is with us today, too. Jeremy is with the U.S. Small Business Administration. Uh, he leads their economic development operation, small business initiatives, and he handles program operations for the Northwest. Hope you enjoy the uh, Hidden Gems Idaho Resources track, and you'll get a chance to speak with some of these entrepreneurs, chat with some of these entrepreneurs online as the session uh, plays out. Thank you. Jerry Miller here with the Idaho Department of Commerce, and I would like to take the next few moments to talk about incentives for starting and growing a biz businesses here in Idaho. First group of incentives I like to call the investment incentives because the tax credit or incentive is based on the amount of money you invest in starting or growing your business. Probably the easiest on this list to obtain is the 3% investment tax credit. This is a state of Idaho tax credit, so the credit applies to your Idaho taxes, and it's essentially a credit for any investment you may make in tangible personal property. I like to think of the investment tax credit this way. Let's say we were to cut the roof off your business, flip the building upside down. Most of the items that would fall to the ground would fall, fall under the umbrella uh, of items that are personal, tangible property, and thus eligible for the investment tax credit. The next bundle of incentives I like to think of as job incentives. Job incentives because in order for you to be able to take advantage of any of these programs, you as a business need to create jobs. I wanna highlight the tax reimbursement incentive for TRI. This is an incentive that's managed directly by the Idaho Department of Commerce. And in order to qualify, you need to create 20 jobs in a rural community, 50 jobs in an urban community, and the average payroll of those jobs that are being created need to exceed the average county wage. Once you meet those two threshold criteria, then you're eligible to apply for the TRI incentive. Now, the amount of this incentive is determined on a case-by-case -case basis. In addition to the jobs and the wages that are being paid, we also look at capital investment and the impact that your that a business in your industry will have upon the community and the region as a whole. So there's a number of economic factors we look at before we make a final offer um, to you as a business. Like all of Idaho incentives, um, you first have to complete the job creation or complete the investment um, before we will uh, issue you and, and give you access to the actual incentive. Probably the most popular question I get asked at the Department of Commerce from businesses is, is are there any grants to help with start to start our business up or to help grow our business? And the general answer to that is no in most cases. However, there are certain exemptions. exceptions. Idaho Department of Commerce has a number of programs to help develop public utilities and public infrastructure. Now, these grants aren't given directly to businesses. They're given directly to cities and counties, but oftentimes cities and counties 
will use these grant funds to partner up with businesses that are looking to locate into a community or to expand. One of the few programs we have at the Department of Commerce where we do give grants directly to businesses is the State Trade Export Program. And this is a program designed to help come Idaho companies sell goods and services overseas. For the most part, the grants are used to help offset tra travel costs associated with going on a trade mission or going to an international trade show. These funds can also be used to help translate marketing materials and websites into a foreign language and other export services. Our friends over at the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality offer grants for, improve, for developing, assessing, and improving brownfields. If you happen to be a business that's looking to get into the environmental cleanup industry or is already operating in the environmental cleanup industry, you may also be able to get grants to help train your employees uh, in the area of brownfield cleanup work. So that's only a quick sampling of incentives that the state has to offer for businesses that are looking to start up or expand. To learn more about these and the other incentives that are out there, please feel free to contact me directly. And as always, you can find the Idaho Department of Commerce on social media. Thank you so much for the privilege of your time. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Jeremy Tamsin, and I'm the director for the Office of Technology Transfer at the University of Idaho. In my role, I help faculty and staff researchers develop their inventions and discoveries into useful products and services that can benefit society. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a few of the resources that the University of Idaho offers to community members to improve their businesses. The first is called the Entrepreneurship Law Clinic. This clinic is, a, is for third year law students at the University of Idaho College of Law. By working under licensed attorneys, these third year law students help small businesses in the community by creating businesses for them, the actual business registration and business formation filings, uh, by reviewing contracts and license agreements, uh, and by registering trademark filings. This service is provided free to qualifying entrepreneurs and more information can be found at our website. The second resource I'll tell you about is the Patent and Trademark Resource Center. This program is hosted by the University of Idaho College of Law Law Library, specifically the Idaho State Law Library in Boise. This set of resources and uh, specially trained law librarians can help you access the past of, of existing filings to help give you an indication of whether your, your patent filing or your trademark filing will have a likelihood of success. These services are offered to Idaho entrepreneurs who qualify under income restrictions uh, and more information can be found on our website. The third program I'll tell you about is the Patent Pro Bono Program. This program partners licensed practicing patent attorneys with small businesses so that the attorneys can give community service hours back in a volunteering way to the businesses who are requesting services. So in this instance, the university acts as a facilitator to vet the applications for the inventors coming into the program. Do they qualify under the income restrictions? Is their business uh, at the appropriate stage for them to obtain patent assistance? Once the spending process is done, we help connect you to a qualified patent attorney who may be able to help your business with your patent filing. The last resource that I'll tell you about is a set of funding resources available from third parties. The first is called the iGEM program. The iGEM program is a state of Idaho program that takes Idaho tax dollars and applies them to your business problem using university services and researchers as a tool. So money flows to the university to address your research question and applications are facilitated by the Idaho Department of Commerce. The second program I'll tell you about is a federal program called the SBAR STTR program. SBAR stands for Small Business Innovation Research, and these programs direct that any federal agency with a research budget of over $200 million direct between 2 and 3% of that budget to small businesses. 
The small businesses propose to the federal agencies to expend that money to affect certain federal goals. So from tank treads to toothbrushes, these SBIR programs have small businesses working on questions that the federal government wants answered. And certainly these technologies can become uh, of so much interest to the federal government that they become your customer. They start purchasing the technology from you once you're able to produce it. These awards, needless to say, can be very powerful and can be very helpful in developing your technology to the next level, as well as potentially attracting the US federal government as a consumer of your product or your service. More information on this program can be found at sbir.gov. Now, you all are participating in Boise Startup Week, so I wish you the best of luck. This format is a little bit strange this year, but I think that the content that you're getting will still be very meaningful and hopefully very impactful to your business. Good luck and go Vandals. My name is Jeremy Field and I'm the Regional Administrator for the U.S. Small Business Administration in the Pacific Northwest. The SBA is a federal agency that empowers small businesses to start, grow, expand, and recover. Many people have gotten to know the SBA in recent months because of our role in delivering the Paycheck Protection Program. Today, I want to focus on our resources for startups and tell you about resources every entrepreneur should know about, but most don't take advantage of. These resources will give you a competitive edge as you drive towards success. They focus on two areas, funding and advising. First, let's talk about one of the top needs for businesses that we get asked about the most frequently which is financing. The most common form of capital comes in the form of loans. The SBA loans programs are designed with unique needs of small businesses and entrepreneurs in mind. Longer repayment terms and lower payments give you the flexibility you need to grow your business while meeting your financial obligations. Many people believe that SBA loans aren't for startups. On the contrary, approximately one third of SBA loans go to businesses less than two years old. SBA's loan guarantees make it possible for entrepreneurs to access the capital they need to start or grow their business from, from as little as $500 up to $5.5 million. The SBA backed loans can be used for most business purposes, including long term fixed assets and operating capital. In fact, last year, $153 million in SBA loans spurred growth for local small businesses here in the SBA Boise District. Even with historic economic relief for the coronavirus pandemic, our traditional loan programs are still going strong. Next, I'd like to talk about another source of funding that isn't widely known, but can be instrumental for local innovators and tech startups who need funding for research and development. The Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, and the Small Business Technology Transfer, or STTR, combine small businesses' innovations with government challenges. All heard of Sonic Care Electronic Two Brothers, right? How about 23andMe? the genetic testing and ancestry product. These are examples of small businesses that used SBIR funding to innovate solutions for government that later had commercial benefits and uses for their businesses. Organized by the SBA, this program allows for 11 federal agencies to fund promising technology without forcing entrepreneurs to give up equity or ownership of their company. Technology-focused small businesses looking to, re, uh, to fund research and development or pro, uh, prototyping operations can take advantage of more than $3 billion in federal funding that is made available every year through SBIR programs. I know we have entrepreneurs in the Boise area already innovating in things like artificial intelligence, nanomaterials, clean energy, water filtration, education technology, and wearable tech. The SBA wants to connect with you with the SBIR funding op opportunities to create groundbreaking technology. So now that you know where you want to go and about the financing resources that can fuel your journey, how do you get there? The answer is with business mentors through the SBA Resource Partner Network, which provides no cost or low cost business advising and training to small businesses. The SBA Resource Partner Network includes SCORE mentors, small business development centers, women's business centers, and veterans business outreach centers. Whether you need to create a business plan, figure out your business structure, negotiate a contract or any other startup need, SBA resource partners provide one-on-one -on -one advising and business classes to make sure you never, you're never far from the help that you need. For example, let me tell you about a Boise couple who took advantage of the training provided by the SBA and resource partners. With a passion for tinkering with and rebuilding cars, John and Karina DeHoff 
decided to take the leap to launch their own pre-owned RV dealership. As a disabled veteran, John's 25 years of military service in the U.S. Air Force brought him to attend the SBA Boots to Business course at the Mountain Home Air Force Base, where he learned the steps to broaden his knowledge and learn about buying at auctions and expanding their customer base. Their business, Leisureland RV Center, started with just $23,000 in capital. Within three years, they grew the business to more than 4 million with 15 employees. Armed with a little support and guidance, research shows 70% of small businesses that receive mentoring survive more than five years. That's double the survival rate of non-mentored businesses. There's no reason not to take advantage of this advisory network. In closing, entrepreneurs are the innovators and problem solvers of our nation. And small businesses create nearly two out of their every three net new jobs. So they drive our economy as well. Please connect to our SBA news programs and services by visiting our website or subscribing for email alerts. Our mission is to empower entrepreneurs to start, grow, expand, and recover by providing them with the tools and resources they need at every stage of their business life cycle. The SBA is invested in your success. Thank you. My name is Lori Manning, and I am the state director for the Idaho PTAC. PTAC stands for Procurement Technical Assistance Center. And what does that mean? Well, to procure means to obtain. So you're attempting to obtain a government contract or make the U.S. government your customer. We are affiliated with the Small Business Development Center and Boise State University. We're funded through a grant by the Department of Defense, or DOD, and we are a resource partner for SBA. The DOD awards the majority of dollars for federal procurement, and this is really why they fund PTACs all over America and every state. They want to ensure that small businesses such as yourself have an opportunity to be able to get a piece of the pie in government contracting, and that is a $400 billion industry, with about 23% of that set aside for small businesses. It's $100 billion on that piece of pie, and it's the PTAX responsibility to help you get a piece of that. So our services are free to Idaho businesses, and we can become a great walk along beside you to help you accomplish your goals. Some of the things that we do are explaining procurement procedures. You know, many people don't understand the FAR, the Federal Acquisitions Regulations, and so we're able to be an assistant, if you will, and getting an understanding of what that is. We help you develop bid notification profiles. This allows you to be seen and recognized by contractors. We review your bids and proposals. We send out a daily email with custom bid matches that matches your company and your industry. And this allows you to be able to find the best opportunities to be able to bid on. We assist in your DUNS and SAMS registration, and we host statewide workshops, both in person and through Zoom, to train you to be a great government contractor. We help you create your capability statements and marketing strategies to assist you in getting your business out there and in front of the right folks. You know, those capability statements are like business calling cards, if you will. And it's very important to have one to put into the hands of contractors that are seeking your services. Up and coming new is the new CMMC requirements, which are cybersecurity. Our PTAC is responsible to help you gain the knowledge you need to be able to make that clearance and continue to contract for the DOD. We offer valuable resources for business owners such as yourself, and we're excited to partner with both the SBA and Boise Startup Week to be here to serve you. If you'd like more information about the Idaho PTAC, please contact us through IdahoPTAC, that's P-T-A-C dot org. Again, IdahoPTAC, P-T-A-C dot org. And thanks again for having us. Thank you for joining us today, and thanks especially to our panelists. Irene Gonzalez, the Economic Development Specialist with SBA in Boise, who organized our panel and got our speakers together today. Steve Helton, the Executive Director of Tech Help. Lori Manning, Idaho's PTAC Director. Jerry Miller, Business Retention and Expansion Specialist with Idaho Commerce. And Jeremy Field, Regional Administrator in charge of the Pacific Northwest for the SBA. Thanks to each of you. Thanks to all who joined. 
We look forward to working with you as you grow your Idaho business.